everybody. My name is uh, Céline Ross and I am a Genome educator in, uh, for Genome Canada. I am in Montreal in my sewing school and today I had a lot of emotion. So I'll, I'll try, I'll try to, uh, the sewing calm me down, you know, so it'll be okay. We had problem with connection, but I think we are okay now. Are we okay, Carolina? Okay, she said, uh, go ahead. So I am alone here. She's far away. So Carolina is in um, uh, uh, South, F uh, South America in Quito, uh, which is in um, uh, Equator, Equator, okay? So uh, that's why alone, you know, when she's not there, ooh, 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 ooh. so today is different. It's about the Cover Pro 3000 Professional. We shouldn't forget this. But before we're going into this, uh, I, I forgot to, uh, to, to tell you, I want to, too much emotion. That's why I'm so confused now. But I want to thank you right away for all the comment I received, all the answer you gave me. I'll talk to you about it uh, later on after the uh, after the, uh, the the presentation or the class or okay. So, like I said, I'm going to use Genome America asked me to use the Cover Pro 3000 today professional. For sure, you have you you saw on um, on all the uh, uh, social media of Genome America and everywhere. You saw a presentation of the machine. You know how to thread the machine. You saw this, you know, you're good to go. So I didn't want to go into there again and again. You want to see something else. So, you know, in my sewing school, we mostly sew garment. I'm not a, a, a good quilter, you know, I'm not, a, but uh, with the embroidery, with sewing garment, with software, I'm okay. So, of course, it's the perfect machine for me. And of course, also, I am happy that uh, we upgrade, always upgrade our machine. So we had uh, at the big, not at the beginning, we had the Cover Pro 1000 and then 900 and then 2000 and we're up to 3000, but they add the word professional, which is true. Okay, so professional, the machine don't, don't have just a, a few little uh, addition. Huh? The machine is, is improved so much. I cannot write in English, but if you use Google translation, go and see um, um, the, the Genome blog in French, but you know I'm not nice, I should say. Please read Michael Smith blog in English, which is, uh, which is on Genome Canada. So in English, you're okay. You will, uh, but if you want to see a little difference, you know, you come and Google translation, uh, the French blog on genome.ca Canada. Okay. So we had a few article on it and I'm presenting just a little bit different. So I'm going to switch the camera. And I think I'm doing this. Yes, I'm okay. And you see my hand. Yes, I'm okay. So, to, and what I want to say today, I'm going, I'm going to uh, have the machine work just a little bit, but it's a, it's mostly um, strong show ideas and, okay. So I cannot stretch more than this, my stand. So I want to show you the test, some test I made. And you notice I'm not using my regular square. It's an oval this time. And it stops at certain point, okay? At certain distance. So why do I do this? Why did I do this? I'm sorry. So you, you find all the, the function. What happened when we buy a new machine and we test it right away, yeah? And this is what I did. So these are the whole functionality of the machine. Okay. And I want to keep this, you know, you want to practice, you want to keep it. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to this one or this one today. What am I going to do? Okay. 
So they're all there. But will you put this on a wall, just a, a piece of uh, fabric? Like We want to embellish everything, okay? So I'll show you, I'll give you an idea, and this is what I'm going to do with that one, okay? I'm going to frame, I'm too, I'm too close. I'm going to frame it like this, without that um, these pockets. I'm moving my camera because, okay, now you see it better, you know? So you, you, you all know a wooden frame, but imagine the machine inside this here, on the wall, instead of having, uh, instead of having uh, uh, just piece of, uh, piece, of, uh, piece of fabric, okay? So this is an idea. For sure, it's going to be framed on my on my next blog. So I wanted to show it to you. So what I do, uh, of course, I, I will add interfacing. But at the back, I want everything nice. So I add um, a bias tape with a cord to pull it in, you know. Look at this. So it's clean. Of course, this one was just sewing that you see nothing. Um, you will see the reverse. This is the wrong side of the fabric. This is the right side of the fabric. And I choose um, woven fabric for that one. But I have the same, same thing on the stretch fabric. So I'm going to put them together and um, frame it. So you can look on the wrong side and the right side. When I teach, it's really, when I teach, I, I use this. It's really convenient for me. Okay, so this is my idea. But if you don't want to do this, now I'll bring the camera closer. This is what I made with the previous model. Previous model are still good. What's, what's better with this machine? Well, beside all the new technology, beside that, you have the top cover. So, Oops. So this is cover stitch, top cover. So what does it do? It does the overlock on top and behind at the same time. On stretch fabric, on woven fabric. And when I sell a machine, of course you have to teach how to use it. Huh? So I like to change the thread according to each color of the unit tension. So this is what I use, not now because I want to do something else with you, but um, you're supposed to be advanced now. So uh, for a beginner, when you change, when you use the color, different color, then you understand, or when it's a new machine, then you understand the functionality of each thread. That I really like. Okay, professional means you can go on any fabric easily. The word easily is very important here. So, also I took a piece of denim. And uh, not with that one, I told you with the 2000 CPX, okay? But just to show you different stuff. So, on the right side of the fabric... It's easy. I did. Uh, I divide very easily. Not like the new sample. Okay, I'll tell you why. So right side the fabric, wrong side the fabric. So I did the same thing as same feature as here. Almost three uh, cover stitch, three thread, two thread wide, two thread narrow, and again on the wrong side of the fabric. That means you sew on the wrong side of the fabric. And I did um, also to divide it to, to the last stitch is a straight, uh, no, what's the word? Uh, chain stitch, chain stitch, okay? And of course, I'm in Montreal, so, and you know, I like to, it locks my thread. It does, uh, and, and when, when I go to a dealer to, to teach, it's easy, you know, it's my sample because sometimes I lose them. And I did something similar with the 900 previous model. But you know, these samples are not bad anymore. 
Huh? They're just, uh, they're missing. We're missing the top cover. Okay. Now, it is nice to do sample. Guarantee. To practice. But the uh, sample is just to understand the machine. No problem with jean. No problem on heavy cotton. No problem with not difficult fabric. You know, with easy fabric. But when, you, when you're here, okay? Oh, this is another story. So this fabric is, I hope it's a word, fluid. You know, it's uh, light, light and stretchy, okay? So why do we use different stitches? Of course, it's for our taste. Huh? I, if I want white here, I can do it, but also, I have to think about the weight of the fabric. So this one here is very light. So I use a cover stitch, two thread, narrow. Okay. This one is a real knit. Okay. Again, narrow. But on the right side of the fabric, on the wrong side of the fabric. So then I can see my the work of the um, the work of the the the, the 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 looper and the needles okay this one is a woven fabric Very, oh no it's not oh i'm lying oh sorry so it's another stretch fabric i, I think no i have a woven fabric so again just to show different thickness and you see through look at this you see through so this is very light but look at the result okay this one is a little bit heavier, stretchy again. But now, here's some, some really fussy fabric. You can see it's a sheer with the velvet on top. But look at the work. Look at this. How flat it is and how nice it is. So I decided to put the cover stitch on the wrong side of the fabric because uh, I don't want it to... Um, to fray okay and this one is with one inch of hem and this one is three needles but you see it doesn't suit it's not proper it's not nice you understand what I mean that's why you have to make some sample it, it doesn't it doesn't suit there I don't know if you see well but look at this it looks like it's crooked but it's the uh, the velvet that's coming out and you know what three needles here top cover uh, not the top cover uh, cover stitch it's it's not the right thing but you have to do it to understand to do it properly okay the worst thing on a sewing machine and on a serger and on a cover pro is this fabric it's ve uh, velvet velveteen I believe on a knit so this one is, um, you can see through sometimes, okay? Th this is bad, but the other one is even worse. So you have to practice. You try two thread wide. And here, same thing, but I, I didn't do it as, I didn't do the M as wide as, um, as the, the previous one. So this one must be one, one inch and a half, and this one, one inch barely you know so this is our but look at the finishing it's nothing is parkering because the machine has you know what's important on the machine to understand stitch land and differential feed the machine has them both so you go according when you sew who is the bus the fabric you have no choice you have to obey to the reaction of the fabric with any machine in the world but Janome understands fabric so so that is the worst this is a real velveteen because when you sew it slides huh look at the nice finish look the, the nice hemming okay look at this now it looks good with three uh with um uh cover uh, co cover hem with three needle cover hem top cover i'm, I'm almost i'm always uh, mixed up and look at the work at the back so they're all stretchy 
so far. Okay? So I'll put them aside. And then I want to show you. So you saw samples. Now, let me show you some garment now. And like I say, you obey to the fabric. So I have two types of, this is a skirt. And for sure, you look, you look at Janome, um, uh, Facebook, uh, no, yeah, Facebook lives from anywhere around the world, okay? But in Quebec, here in the province of Quebec, we have Jelly Pattern. She is speci specialized on these type of fabric. So the skirt you see here, this is the pattern I used. She doesn't know I talk about her during my life, but just to show you, and I'll show you the mannequin after, okay? So I'm telling you, not this one because I'm too old, no, but the regular one, uh, an hour, it's done. An hour because if I say half an hour, you rush it, is it crooked? Is it, you still have an elastic, you still have a hemming. Hey, even if the machine goes fast, uh, you can't you can't go faster so i like to use the cover hem as top stitching top stitching so these are two different weight of fabric but the result is perfect so of course i use a combination of uh, 82000 i'm uh, because i had to sew it okay so combination of the serger and uh, the cover pro this one because of the seam allowance uh, which is uh, a quarter of an inch or six millimeter so for sure i use two uh, two thread narrow two needles narrow okay so and the elastic is sewn with the serger but top stitch with the sewing machine so uh, i I don't use, uh, most of everything is done with uh, Serger and Cover Pro, except maybe one option. And this fabric also is uh, a light stretchy fabric, but you see nothing breaks, even if I stretch it. Look at this. But one thing you, sh you have to know, or maybe you know, okay, I like to use, uh, let me find it, stretch fabric, stretch thread. I'll put it on navy. And I like to use nice fabric. You know, this is 100% cotton, while this one is polyester. Nothing wrong with polyester. Nothing wrong with anything. You know, if you like it, there's nothing wrong. But I do prefer natural fiber, of course, huh? Okay, so what is this? This uh, these are two stretch thread. Do you see the difference? So some people call it woolly. Okay, this one has less stretch, but it's not twisted. See the fiber is wide, but it's a thin thread. If you twist it, it's right. So I really love to use, well, mostly polyester now. This one is polyester. This one is, uh, I don't want to lie, yeah, woolly nylon. So woolly nylon, woolly poly. Why the difference in the two? You need more stretch. You need less stretch. This one is, um, uh, I don't know the real word in English, but it, this one you can use for woven fabric and also for um, stretchy fabric. You iron it, no problem. Nylon, if you iron this, danger, it can melt. Okay, so um, this one is more, uh, is polyvalent a word? It's a word in French anyway, yeah? You have more use to, to, to this one, more use, okay? So I cannot bring the camera over, but I'll show you the two mannequin. This mannequin is bigger than this one. This is Carolina and this is Selina, okay? Selina is me. 
So I just want to watch, uh, I want to match Carolina. So this is um, a garment that I made uh, for gentlemen, the last Genome Institute in two years ago. And I use, if you see, and I, I pin, I want to show you that I use the, um, the red thread underneath. So I use Cover Pro and 82,000. You see the result. It's even nice. You can add some, uh, some detail. While the other one is, again, jelly pattern. It's this pattern here. 3248 from Jelly with the pocket. It's so easy to make, so easy. So Cover Pro and Serger. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing um, a cardigan again from Jelly. This cardigan. I think this is too young for me, the look, okay? While this it's convenient for, you know, we have to go with our age, huh? okay? So, Jelly, go and see. She, she doesn't have an, a, an enormous uh, um, collection like uh, Berda or um, um, McCall and Buttrick and, okay? So, one thing I want to, I forgot to tell you, why I'm talking about the, these threads, for sure, in the U.S., you have more um, place to buy some different thread. But in Genome Canada, Genome has Madeira Aeroflock. So Genome is using this. So if I sew, let's say a bathing suit, of course I'm going to put this in my loopers. Never, these are never goes into the needle. Any fancy fabric, uh, any fancy thread in the in the needle, regular thread always in the needle, but fancy or different uh, thread in the looper and on the top cover. Okay, so I told you this. Let me show you something else. Pull off, please. And tick, not the thin one, tick. Oh, look, you, you embellish something. You embellish a garment. Just, you don't have to create, you just have to, uh, you don't have to create a garment. You follow the pattern and then use your machine to decorate and uh, make it look uh, haute couture. Oh, this is not haute couture at all, this is really sporty. But, you know, this is strong. The, 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 the triple one is really strong, huh? As a top stitching. So, now I prepared something else. Here. I'm all prepared. On the camera, it looks clean, but behind me, oof. You know, our machine, our cover pro is free arm. You know this, huh? Okay. And it's convenient to sew around, to sew something in circle. You need to practice because if just before you do on a garment, how will you practice? Will you cut? Of course, you can cut a piece of fabric and you can sew it together, make it a circle and try it under the machine. Let's make it easier. So these here are sleeves from an old t-shirt so you see this is not me this is from the store you know this is an old t-shirt so what do you do it when you cut the sleeves always ironing because when you iron this it stays when you go on your machine and then um, I, I prepare the machine for another uh, something more spectacular and then you see, you put it underneath and you can, you practice. Oh, should I line it here? Should I line it here? Should I line it there? Practice, it's a good, and you spoil nothing. Or the end of a sleeve or hem of a pant. So you have this one from the store. Practice with the other end where you cut it. 
So why these pants are, are so long? Because I had a pair of pants in knit. It, this is a real knit. And I made a skirt out of it. So I had to cut a, a part of the, uh, the leg. So is this machine can sew? I mean sew. I don't make a, this English mistake. Yes, this machine can sew. So because I'm sewing, to close. Whoops, everything moves. You see? This is optional. This is an extension table. And when you sew, you need a bigger surface. Okay? I really, it's better. It's better. You know? You have enough, you can hold it with your two hands. You have enough room. I prefer this. And notice the, the big space here. So if I can sew, there's one function that we do not use often or we don't think, but I prepared this for you. Look at that. All this strip of fabric, it's all wool, but pure wool, woven, woven, yeah, woven. You see? Flannel made in England, it's 100% wool. And I said, I'm gonna prove it, prove it to them. Okay, all wool made in, I guess it's England, okay? So I cut some piece of fabric, different wool, wool, thick wool. They have different the thickness. This one here is, uh, whoops, this is regular wool. This is like a tweed. This is really thick. Again, thinner. Oh, this is linen. Linen. Wool and linen. Linen. Another type of linen. A, mis a mixture. Okay, linen and, uh, and wool. Or silk and, uh, silk and wool, sorry. Pure wool and, of course, pure wool. So why did I do this? one function when we sew you know when you go to store and you buy a garment what is it they have a seam allowance with the chain stitch and the chain stitch look at this it's stronger than any seam of course eh? okay so it depends what you're sewing maybe you want to sew at whoops you want to sew your garment at 5 8 and then open the seam allowance but if you if you're doing this first of all when you cut your garment then um, you surge all the way around then come on your machine here on your cover pro and use the um, the chain stitch function oh it's so it's so um, it's easy to it's easy but it's also stronger it has two functionality and you don't want this seam allowance be thick you want it thin you know I don't want to be see a bulk here trust me I use in the needle um, thread size 80 okay it, I'm, I'm I'm not talking fast, size 80, okay? But look at this. Why did I use this? Well, because it does like a loop. It does like a loop. So if it's, if I have a loop, I don't want it, I don't want to, um, my sewing, my seam allowance be bulky, okay? And then to prove you something here, when I assemble everything, look, I didn't, I used a regular, serger thread and my woolly poly it's a common word but from Madeira is aeroflock there's aero lock and aero flock flock huh? it's like uh, it's fluffy look at the difference of course I don't like it here it's too thick too thick for this garment but for a bathing suit or any stretchy fabric, it's just perfect. It fill up. Look at this one here. It's, it's perfect. And the thickness and 
the uh, always my uh, seam allowance with a chain stitch and all the way around I serge with the um, aeroflock I put the aeroflock just in one looper because I didn't have two cones so you have the regular uh, serger thread uh, uh, at the back okay and but if you want you can add both and also it, it gives a nice decoration yeah it's a nice finishing so um, i'll be back with this here look how fluffy it is this is what i use aeroflock so this one is um cover stitch while this one is a top cover but i use it here it's a decorative thread that i used you see the difference okay and at the back also it's thicker i don't know where to show you you know what um i made a mistake i didn't uh, no i didn't use it at the back okay so at least you see um different uh, different thread different purpose of each thread so because you know how to use the machine for sure i don't have to i don't want you to, i don't want to repeat to you because uh, uh <laughs> it's too much huh? so you know we have the highlight here we have the fine uh, adjustment the fine tension and the standard tension but i want to focus today just to show you you can so you can also decorate how do you decorate with all different type of thread I use red because Janome is red, okay? So here I use different thickness, 35. Where did I put it? Always in the lower looper, this looper here, okay? In the needle, always the um, regular thread, always. But if you want to do decoration like I did here or with this one where will i put my thread on my top cover uh, uh, not attachment but the function i don't know how to say this uh, in english okay so i'm using this um this function you know <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah i should you know i pull out my uh, french instruction book i should pull out the english one so you see just the chain stitch size 30 5 35 i'm sorry size uh, this one is it's a twisted thread size 40 then size 12 and size 8 okay do you have to go straight or you can go you can do weaving well of course you can do weaving and you can do uh, anything you can top stitch with this so i want to i want to teach you something very important without any adjustment so of course when when you do something in the looper when you use a different thread than normal thread when i say normal normal is like um, normal is like uh, your regular uh, serger thread okay well, the tension are always the same, you know, about four, about, okay, about. But when you use decorative thread or thicker thread or stretchy thread in the looper or in the top cover, oh, now you have to adjust your tension and look. You know, we always make a sample because we, before we go in the garment, huh? So look this was too tight so I had to release it to make it flat so it's a good example this also I want to point out something else this is variegated thread variegated thread okay I kept my red thread underneath mistake you see red too much I should have put the same color the uh, uh, navy blue because it's variegated, I cannot change, uh, I cannot change thread all the time. Huh? So I, I should have put navy. So another mistake, but you learn from, it's not a mistake, it's a test, you know? You learn from the test. 
So what do you do? I'm going to, just to uh, have fun a bit with you. And then, am I okay with time? Oof, I'm running out of time. Oh, yuck, yuck. Okay. Um, you notice uh, the little notch on the side here to tell you that the needle of the highest position here, there's two notches, huh? You know that. You know you have your stitch length. You know you have your uh, differential feed. So when you want to do decorative with a chain stitch, I put the thicker thread. Okay. Very easy to thread. I just follow everything. And let's go. Regular thread in the needle. And uh, no, this time. You know, the habit is there. And you go. You make a little bit. It's a, it's a sample, okay? You make a little bit. You test. You check. You check. You like it. You don't like it. What should I do? It's perfect. Of course. <laughs> I practiced before. And you can move. And. Hey, what is this? I'm looking for my scissors now. So the machine can chain up. I think I lost my scissors. The machine chain off the stitch. Look at this. Oh, th this is just this word to change the machine. And I'm using um, the see-through, uh, the see-through uh, foot that comes with the machine. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Huh? So you can top stitch, this one is really thick, okay? But just to give you an idea, and if you want to use it in a top cover here, well, you switch and uh, when you use it in a top cover, you put the regular thread in your looper, okay? So for sure you understand and you saw many, many of samples. There's also many optional accessories that comes with the machine but the machine by itself uh, you have all the accessories you need but the, the, the purpose of today's um, today's uh, live is to sew and decorate with different thread different thickness of thread and different fabric to show you you know it's not a sewing machine, and it is, almost. I'm going to switch camera. Okay, so like I say, it's not a sewing machine, but we can use it as a sewing machine. Something that we don't think, you know, what do we, when we buy a cover pro, what do we think? Hemming everything. There's more than this, huh? And the sweater, the, the cardigan I'm wearing, Maybe you don't see well, but everything is done. Not everything, but all the top stitching is done with the, the cover pro, two thread. Okay, so am I on time? Oh yes, I'm, I'm over time, okay. So I wanna, I wanna say thank you everybody for the answers you gave me. I was so surprised to realize that many, many of you own many sewing machine genome of course maybe some others you didn't tell me and i don't want to know but um uh you uh, people uh, i don't know who has one machine anymore like do we have uh, one tv in the house wow and you have mostly intermediate and top top of the line so Again, you can email me, not email me, uh, well, you can email me because some find my name and my address and I receive, I'm, I'm very happy, you know, I'm, it's like I found new sewing friends. It's a, uh, sewing is a bit of family, yeah? So uh, I thank you very much. I answer everybody one by one. If you need something from me, it's, um, it'll be always a pleasure to, um, to answer you, to, uh, yeah, to answer you, okay, and to help you out. I helped so far a few ladies, and uh, so I'll see you next week. You have a good week, and I wish you a cover pro. Maybe go and see your dealer for a test drive and see their samples, and maybe, 
Who knows, huh? Maybe you have a few more pennies in your wallet. So bye-bye, everybody. Until next week, have a good time. Bye-bye.